Hi, my name is Chi Kim, and I run the assistant music technology program for visually impaired students at Berkeley College of Music. The main goal of the program is to give the students the same opportunity as their peers and in the music industry when they graduate. One of the ways we do that is to teach students how to use industry standard technology such as Pro Tool. Avid did an excellent job in making sure all the information that Pro Tool provides is accessible to the screen reader called VoiceOver. However, the way visually impaired users access the information is not as efficient as how a sighted person would access it. In response to students' frustration, we developed flow tools to improve the efficiency of workflow in Pro Tools for visually impaired users. We decided to share our work as an open source project, and we sincerely hope that this will have positive impact. Hi, my name is Rocco Fiorentino, and I helped develop the scripts and documentation for Flow Tools. I had the idea with Chi when we started working with other blind and visually impaired students at Berkeley College of Music in the Assistive Music Technology Lab. And I'm amazed at how far these scripts have come. I think this is a huge step forward for accessibility of Pro Tools, and I'm excited to see what our user feedback is. My name is Slough Hallatin, and I'm a blind studio owner and engineer in New York City. I've used Pro Tools for over 20 years, 15 of those years as a blind professional. There have been several turning points in accessibility improvements over the years, uh, and now with the introduction of Flow Tools, I think we're about to witness uh, another major turning point. What Flow Tools does is it streamlines a number of tasks that would otherwise require a blind user to navigate various elements within the Pro Tools interface. Uh, Flow Tools automates many of those tasks and dramatically cuts down the time it takes to perform those actions. I like to think of Flow Tools as sort of like having a sighted assistant next to me who can take in that information, report it to me, and even execute commands much more quickly than I could if I had to navigate the interface myself. The VoiceOver screen reader handles a lot of that, but Flow Tools takes it a lot further to address the specific needs that a blind user would have when trying to navigate the Pro Tools interface. When you're working with clients in a session, you have to act quickly because time is money and it can sometimes be stressful to navigate a Pro Tools session, especially when it's a complex and large session. Having used Flow Tools under battle conditions, I couldn't imagine being without it at this point. Although I'm perfectly capable of using Pro Tools without it, I simply wouldn't want to. There's no going back. One of the first things that a blind Pro Tools user uh, has to deal with when uh, working in a session is uh, they have to get a sense of what's in the session. I mean, how many tracks there are, what's showing, what's hidden. And it's a very tedious process. And Flow Tools, uh, helped by offering commands that sort of report the status. I have a session here and I'm going to press a command to tell me how many tracks are showing. So I'm pressing Option Shift W. 15 shown, kick audio, snare audio, low time audio, high time audio. What Flow Tools did is it told me that there are 15 tracks showing, okay, and it starts listing them. Uh, I can also query to see which are hidden with Option Shift H. Four hidden, sax 170 audio, guitar holes audio, guitar 460 audio. That kind of information is uh, very important to have. And before Flow Tools, a blind user would have to manually go through the session, go to the top of the session. Tracks. Okay, and read across. Track list pop-up button. Kick, audio track, snare, audio track, low tom, audio track. Etc. Until you got to the end of the mix window and uh, you don't know how many tracks are are in this session, so you don't know how long that's going to take. Plus, what's shown here in the mix window does not reflect what's hidden. So to determine that, you'd have to go... Tracks. Track list. Table. Rows 1. Interact with. Track. Into a table and go down the list. Shown snare button. Shown low tom button. Shown high tom button. Shown high hat button. Hidden sax 170 button. Okay, so finally I've gotten to the to to a hidden track, and I'm going to continue down. Hidden guitar calls button. Shown guitar 170. Hidden guitar 460. Hidden scratch vocal button. Shown Frank button. 
So you see, I've gone through a number of tracks that have various uh, states. You know, some of them are showing, some are not showing. And um, a sighted user could easily sort of, you know, look at this and say, okay, yeah, that track that I wanted shown is currently hidden and they can toggle it. And it's certainly possible to do that as a, as a blind user without Flow Tools. But Flow Tools allows you to uh, bring up a list, for example, of muted tracks. Application, seven muted, dialog, seven muted. Choose tracks to unmute, table. So here's a table, and if I interact with this table. Interact with table, row, bass high, audio track, bass low, audio track, piano, audio track. I can move to any one of these tracks. Bass, bass high, hi-hat, audio track. Let's say I go to the hi-hat track. Stop interacting, cancel, but unmute, default button. And unmute it. Pro, Pro Tools, mix, lie to me, mix. Now let's say if I wanted to unmute all of them, I double tap that Option Shift M command that I pressed before. Unmuted all tracks. <laughs> it's instantaneous. If I want to see what's soloed, for example, Option Shift S. Three soloed, snare, audio, hi-hat, audio, piano. I want to unsolo that. Unsoloed all tracks. I double tap it and it's done. That kind of instant response, uh, instant access to uh, a number of tasks that would have to follow sequentially uh, in order to achieve that result is just a keystroke away with Flow Tools. Flow Tools has a mode that we call the Flow Tools Inspector. If I turn the inspector on with the forward slash key, inspector on. I can simply press single letters to query the status of things. If I press the number one, I can hear what's instantiated on the first insert. Hey, EQ37 band. Okay. If I wanted to change that insert, I add a modifier. Menu, DSP plugin, submenu. And I could assign a different plugin to that insert. The, the shortcuts are uh, so time saving, like uh, what the solo status is on this track by pressing S. Off. The record status by pressing R. Not armed. Uh, the level meter. Watching level meter. I could also watch the levels. Minus 12 dB. Minus 30, minus, 20, minus 24 dB. There are so many commands in Flow Tools, uh, I couldn't possibly go through all of them. At last count, we're 117, and many of those have dual functions. I am so excited uh, to have been involved with uh, the development of Flow Tools. Uh, this is going to be uh, a huge thing for the blind Pro Tools user community. I'd like to thank everyone involved to make this possible, including Rocco Fiorentino, Slav Halliton, Adam Kojanovic, and Marcus Hoyt. And of course, special thanks to Berkeley College of Music and Abbott.